What's up, good people? Your boy Honest Play back with another video. First and foremost, before I get started, thank you for all the support. I appreciate you guys. Now, besides the title, as you can tell, this is a little different, especially coming from me. For many people do know, I love Nicki Minaj. I don't consider myself a barb, but I definitely do enjoy Nicki. However, I'm not a stan. I bat Nicki when I feel like she's right, and I feel like she's being done unjust. But with this times where I feel like Nikki's wrong, and this is one of those times, and I feel the need to talk about it. So for those who don't know, who don't keep up with female rap, JT, former member of the City Girls, now going solo, JT released her EP, City Cinderella, which I love. Swangin', Serving, Big Al, um, Hope, and Swang. And also, 90s Baby. But just a couple songs off the top of my head. J I love City Cinderella. I really do JT. The yeah, only thing I would like for JT to do in the future, and this is just me, because like I said, it's okay to talk about your pussy. The guys about their dicks all the time. But I don't like, oh, my pussy good, this, yeah, that. He gonna like, like, sometimes try to m mix it up. But overall, I love City Cinderella. Now, during the day, this is why, you know, I'm focused on Evo. And I, I didn't want to get started. SK really pissed me off with that bullshit lack of king about to show the picture of Vice Mature. But let me get back on topic. So while focusing on Eva, I'm on Twitter because, you know, work be boring sometimes, especially when I'm at my second job. Work be real boring. So I'm seeing the Nikki Shay JT, Nikki unfollow JT. I'm like, what the fuck is going on? So I'm scrolling through Twitter trying to, my nose is itchy. I think I did, that's fine. But my nose is itchy. I was not going to ignore that. Um, I'm scrolling through Twitter, like, thinking, what, what? And then there's a clip, because I don't go on Station Head. I don't have the app to go on Station Head, but a lot of barbs, because I'm, mu I'm mutuals. I must say friends. I don't think they, any of them would consider me a friend, but we're mutuals. We respect each other. A lot of barbs um, postings for Station Head that Nikki has said, because Nikki's on the drops tea and stuff, and just things that barbs find interesting, because it's Nikki. And then Nikki was saying something like, how do you go? It's like, let me see if I can if I pull it up. Hold on, because it's just weird. Forgive give me. Let me see. Give me one minute. Nope, I don't care about that crap. Um, yeah, I found it. Oh, the question you gotta ask me about JT. JT knows the answer to that. No, that's not the one I'm looking for. Oh, the question you asked me, but okay. It's kind of okay. Give me one second. I, I know I got it. This, this is kind of like spring in the moment because it's kind of on my mind now, so I want to talk about it. But I do want to find a, that video because now that I want it, I can't find it. Lovely. Lovely. Found it. I have to question why a person would go from unliking you to loving you. Is that odd? Well, you don't say. But you also have to question why a person would go from up. So that's my thing. So for those who don't know, when JTC remember the City Girls, this is back when Cardi was still popping. She's not anymore. I don't care what no one says. Just look how her last few songs have been going. The City Girls, I believe JT and Carisha, but I know it's JT for a fact. I think Carisha could be dead wrong on Carisha. Well, at least a diss on Nicki Minaj. So, you know, City Girls, you know, a lot of the girls in the industry were coming at Nicki. Over time, when JT started started getting to know Nicki, she apologized, and it was a public apology. It was no a behind back, behind closed doors, just between. There was a public apology. Nicki even had JT wrap the diss to her on Twitter, you know, as or like on Instagram, one of those two things. Some of these things are for years ago, so, you know, I really don't give a shit, but I know it happened. Now, JT's EP City Cinderella dropped, well, it's now Saturday, but it dropped Friday. It's Saturday in New York. It dropped. And like I said, I enjoyed it. A lot of the bar were streaming City Cinderella. The out of the blue, Nikki comes out. Um, with Station Head, she started unfollowing Barb's who were supporting JT. 
And we're like, what, what, what? See, I don't, I'm not a barb. So, and I follow Nikki, and I don't expect Nikki to follow me, number one, because I like to me. This is before Twitter hide the likes. For guys who know me, I'm gay, so I like a lot of pictures of Nazi for guys. Damien can tell you all about it. I even share some of the stuff with my good friend Damien. Um, so, I'm like, okay, so I never look for Nikki follow. I'm also, you know, I'm happy to follow her because I love Nikki. So, I never, I never needed Nikki to follow me to validate that. I don't care. But I'm shocked these bars were not flaky. These bars weren't like, you know, the ones who like to use Nikki for a clout, but then talk smack about her behind her back. These were genuine fans that she unfollowed because they would they decided to also stream JT. First and foremost, while I love Nikki, I enjoy other singers, rappers, whatever. I'm never gonna listen to one person. Azalea Banks has talked so much shit about Nicki Minaj. I guess who I listen to still? Azalea Banks. Now, do I think Azalea Banks as a person is trash? Yep. Do I think her music is trash? Nope. At least the ones I listen to. You can never make me hate 1A212 luxury. You can never. But now JT drops upon her. Mind you, some people have speculated that there's something went down between Nicki and JT. My personal opinion is this. I think Nikki gets upset with these girls don't sign to her record label um, heavy on it. Because I think Nikki's trying to build it up, but most people, she got like Lourdes, I believe, and some other girl. I think her name is like London Banks. And yeah. And I think what's going on, Nikki was trying to get more recognizable names and sign to heavy on it, but a lot of these girls have been dealing with their own record company for years, finally get to have their independent then join the independent circuit to like, you know, girl, I'm your friend. This is my all my opinion, speculation. Everything I'm saying right here could be absolute garbage, nonsense. They're enjoying the independent route. Yes, it comes with more stress. Yes, that is going to their own pockets a lot, but at least they have the creative freedom. And for most people who are very into the creative arts, whether it's music, drawing, theater, having creative freedom is so important. It allows you to be your most authentic self. And I guess Nikki's not feeling like these girls just won't move on the time she wants them to move. And, you know, it's weird. Like, Nikki, what did JT do to you? JT's been one of your biggest supporters. And you publicly, she publicly apologized to you about the past stuff she did. And you accepted it. My thing about apology, once you accept someone's apology, you move on. You don't keep holding that shit they did to you in the past over their head. Otherwise, don't accept the apology and just leave them alone. Keep it cordial. Just like, you know, you don't got to be beefing, but don't be friends no more. And now it's like, Nikki, JT's been nothing but supportive for you. She always shouts you out when people are dogging you. JT will come to your defense. Behave like a real friend. We, and like I said, we don't know everything goes on the scenes. So I'm not JT's shadow. I'm not Nikki's shadow. But nothing has JT has done show that JT's been disloyal to Nikki, has been like, you know, shitting on her behind the scenes. JT's been focusing on her music. Collect. And I'm like, and now that JT City Cinderella's dropped, and most people, you know, there's people who don't care for it. That's fine. Can't please everybody. But most people are like, oh, we're enjoying City Cinderella as a shit. Yes, 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 yes. And then Nikki comes through, starting with these subliminal shade that, even though she didn't say a name, it does feel like she's talking about JT. Because, like, who else are you talking about then, Nikki? Because we know you're not talking about Cardi. You're not talking about Megan. You're not talking about Doja. You're not talking about Ice. The only person considering the time frame you're doing all this, it's JT. It's the only one that makes sense. And it's like, I'm not saying that, oh, it's okay for Nikki, you know, to be the queen of records. She is that to me. Nikki's still the best to do it. And it's okay for Nikki, you know, not one to be compared to girls who are still working to make a name for themselves. But if someone who's your friend, if you're someone who's supposedly your friend is putting music out there, you don't do nothing to distract from your friend's moment. Like, I love this girl to death. She's one of my best friends in the whole wide world. I'm glad to know her. My friend Aliza. If I see Aliza about to do something that's, this is an Aliza moment, I want to be as small as a hangnail, as a speck of dirt, because I want Aliza to get her full shine. I don't want it to do nothing to affect it. That same goes for Mitchell. That will go for Damien, my friend Jennifer, on and on, and my God say Antonio, on and on and on. I believe letting people have their moments, because your moment will come. But instead, Nikki just goes on stage, she has you start 
I'm following the barbs, even some barbs, not over, some barbs, I'm playing the full kiss ass mode. Yes, Nikki, yes, Queen Nikki, what if you say, I do it. Yeah, 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 yeah. But some barbs like, Nikki, wait a minute. What did JT do? What the f did JT do? And now they're like, and some barbs are like, Nikki, Nikki, I love you, but unless you could give me, like, show me what JT did to you that justifies this behavior. I'm looking at you sideways. No pun intended, because JT has a song called Sideways. It's just weird. And like I said, I'm not here. This like, obviously, if, if a barb sees is going to come for me, that's fine. I speak my opinion. This is not me trying to bash Nikki. It's just sometimes I respect Nikki as a person. I think she's incredible, phenomenal. I still even follow her on Twitter. Just the fact is that I don't understand this alleged animosity towards JT. And it doesn't feel cool. Now, if I was like, even though, like I said, I said to my friend Damien, what Stormy, what, uh, what Stormy, but Baby Storm did to Ice, revealing that Ice was talking about Nikki in a private conversation while well, it was effed up, it was true because Ice Spice has yet to, to, to say it was otherwise. And I'm so, therefore, by default, I believe Baby Storm on that. But what has JT done to Nikki? Because I'm starting to hear if Nikki's feel like, oh, she didn't do this song with me. She didn't sign this. She didn't do that. And Nikki, people are not your puppets. You know, you can have friends who still want to do their own thing. Like, I don't snap my finger and say, damn it. Snap my finger, Chris. Snap my finger, Neppy. Snap my finger, Suki. Snap my, snap my finger, Justin. No, they are the individuals. They have their own lives. Now, yes, we could agree some things. We could may agree on some things. We may disagree on some things. That's it. I don't. My friends are not. I'm not I don't want echo chambers. I want people with their own opinions. Now, if I feel someone's like a, just not my kind of people, I leave them alone. But I don't want my friends to become echo chambers just to appease me, or not, or are too afraid to speak their mind to me. I don't have to agree with everything they say, but I still want them to speak their minds. So I'm just confused because this is disappointing. I really, really like Nikki and JT's friendship, and. After, you know, JT has, you know, stood by your side just for you to do this to her, allegedly. And I thought, I really hope Nikki does clear that up because I don't feel that this is right that this is being done to JT. That's just my little opinion. Y'all can hit the dislike here, disagree. Got bombs come through like, F you, F you, F you. That's fine. Because no one wants that I bash Nikki. Watched the entire video. I never, I just don't think this is right. And I'm allowed to say that. Anyways, that's all I wanted to share. Just been something on my mind. I'm going to continue reading up on the drama until I finally fall asleep. But I wanted to put this out here. Peace, take care, honestly out. Love you guys. Stay safe and enjoy your weekend.